Hey everyone, it's Sydney Sidwell. I am the Debate Mom and we are here with episode number two. Uh, today we're going to talk about flowing. Now, a lot of kids think flowing is no big deal, which is a specialized way of taking notes in debate. But I got to tell you, if you don't flow well, you will not be a good debater because you won't be able to answer uh, their arguments. You won't be able to keep up with what is going on. All right. So let's talk about flowing for a second. Uh, the first thing that you need is two pieces of paper. So go get those. Here we go. Okay. Here's mine. Uh, you're going to fold it in half, hamburger style. Then you're going to fold it in half, hot dog style. And when you pull them apart, you're going to have these wonderful columns, okay? So with those columns, each one of those columns represents a speech in debate. Uh, so one of these papers is going to be for the affirmative case and then arguments to the affirmative case and then answers to the arguments and then like arguments again. Uh, and on this one will be the negative or the con where you have the negative case, arguments to the negative case, answers to the arguments of the negative case, and then voters or voting issues, okay? So that's basically your basic flow. Uh, the top debaters, of course, you will not see them like folding this because they're used to already making those columns. And when you start doing public forum, Lincoln-Douglas debate policy, you're gonna have more than four speeches. Um, so you'll end up uh, doing a couple things. One, when you flow, you're going to write small. Okay, so the thing that I've usually seen is like girls with beautiful flowy handwriting that is way better than mine because I have really horrible handwriting. Uh, but when they have big flowy handwriting, they cannot keep up with what is going on in the round. They miss arguments, that sort of thing. So you do want to write small. Secondly, Abbreviate. Okay, so what do I mean by abbreviate? Uh, let's say you're doing Superman versus Batman. So in that case, you know you're going to hear the words Superman a lot and the words Batman a lot, uh, maybe superhero a lot. So you come up with little ways to abbreviate. Uh, when you're doing public forum or LD or policy, there are things that you hear all the time in a round, and every time you get a new topic, come up with ways that you can abbreviate so that you don't have to write out the entire thing every time. So for Superman, we're going to put SM. For uh, Batman, we're going to do BM. Yeah, yeah, you can make jokes if you want. Um, superhero, we can do that. SH, whatever you want to do, whatever makes it easiest for you. There are a few things in flowing that you're going to see all the time where it'll be like, this increases the amount of money that we get, or this decreases the amount of lives that are lost. So because you always hear the word increase and decrease, I do little arrows for increase, little arrow down for decrease. Um, yeah, just think of all the ones. If you want to Google it, you will find all sorts of abbreviations if you want, but really it's up to you uh, to decide how you want to do this, okay? Um, the next thing is, as you're flowing, make sure that you are moving along. So even if you missed something that they were saying above um, and you're still on contention one, move on to contention two if they move on to contention two. Otherwise, you will get behind forever, okay? So third, move along. So the nice thing is even if you miss something, you can ask in cross-examination or cross-fire in public forum uh, exactly what their points were or whatever for some clarification. You'd rather not spend cross-fire uh, or cross-examination doing that because you'd rather like take apart their case or ask for the evidence and see what their evidence is and take that apart. But number one, cross-examination is for clarification. So if you need to, again, you can do that. All right, so I'm going to draw some really awkward 
rectangles up here that will represent the two pieces of flow paper and then I'm going to walk you through a spar around and what I'd like you to do is follow along with me if you really want to practice this so go get your two pieces of paper you can pause if you need uh, go ahead and fold those up so that you are all ready to go with me and what I would do is in a classroom, if a varsity is teaching or a coach is teaching flowing, I would have someone flow everything on the board for like the first two weeks or so and make everyone flow. The more practice you get with flowing, the better debater you will be. And some debaters say, I have my own way of taking notes. Um, it's way better than you. And in my 12 years of being a debate coach, and my three years actually debating, I never found that to be the case. They always miss things, they were disorganized, etc. So give this a try. It is not difficult. All right. So here are my pieces of paper. The next thing you're going to want is two different colors of pen. Two different colors of pen. You're going to see why in just a moment. All right, so for the affirmative, I'm going to say affirmative when they speak, they are using the blue pen. You can use whatever color you want as long as you designate at the beginning. So this is the affirmative case. So I'm putting AF right up there. We all know that that is the case because there you go. Um, and then on this side, we're going to have black represent the negative. So we'll put neg for negative. There you go. All right, so what do the other columns represent? I'm going to write those up here right now. You, of course, don't have to do it in the future. But hey, if it helps you out, off we go. Okay, the second column right here represents negative responses. So this will be the neg. These are responses to the affirmative case. The next column is going to be for the affirmative, and that will be their responses to the negative attacks to their case. And then the last column, um, what I reserve that for is something called voters or voting issues. I think I've mentioned it before. It's just basically telling the judge why they should vote for you and really clarifying it. We'll have a whole thing on voters issues. Um, but the thing that I would go look up if you're interested now is to look up Nico Pedersen, debateclash.com, impact calculus, because that's that and that wins. All right. So that's going to be voting issues or they're also called in debate lingo voters but a mom or a dad won't know what you're talking about if you're talking about like so let's go to my voters they won't get that but if you say here are the reasons here are the voting issues and why you should vote for pro or affirmative there you go all right so what happens over here here's the negative case and then we have the affirmative attacks and then we have the negative answers. And then the last one, again, is for voters. Okay? Again, in the future, you're going to have debates that last way longer than this. But this is a great way to start. So coaches, I do this. I have them do spar. Um, I have them do like goofy spar and then serious spar. But we do this over and over to practice flowing, to practice case writing before we jump into the actual topic. All right, so right now with me, get out your affirmative pen. So if I was the affirmative right now, I would get up to read my case. And again, when I say read, I mean, you know, you're making up a lot of it on the spot, but hopefully you have three uh, main points that you wanna do, okay? So let's say the affirmative is for Superman. Superman is the affirmative. So, first reason, oops, let's get to the right pen. Sorry about that. Get out our blue pen. The first reason why Superman is a better superhero is that he, is, he can save the most lives. So over here, I'm going to go save lives. Okay? Batman is mortal, and with that, he can be killed 
He can't save nearly as many. Superman can fly through the air and like stop a nuclear weapon or a big missile. Like he can have world peace. So when you compare the two, you can see that Superman is the best superhero because he saves the most lives. Okay, and you can write a few points down underneath if you like to. That's kind of what I do. So that I listen, write down a few things, uh, Batman or BM, Mortal. Okay. Nuke. I'm just going to put nuke. Okay. All right. Let's go to contention two. So contention two for Superman is that he um, has the most powers. And with that, he's bulletproof. He has laser vision. Um, all these different things end up making him the better superhero. So better powers. And again, when we're looking at the best superhero, we want to see that the best superhero um, on the Superman side is that a superhero saves lives. And by far, he saves the most lives with his laser vision and his bulletproofness, stuff like that. All right, let's go to contention three. Superman can fly, and because he can fly, uh, you can see that, again, he can save more lives. So flying is better. I know a lot of these are the same. <laughs> I'm sure that you will write a better case than me on the fly. But there you go. Because he can fly, he can even turn back time as he did in the original superhero or the original Superman movie uh, with the wonderful Christopher Reeve. And if he can turn back time, he can even stop like a nuclear war or something like that from happening from someone doing something really horrendous. All right. And because of that, Superman is the better superhero. Okay. Um, and that's just two minutes long. So off you go. I probably should have brought a timer, but there you go. All right. So now I have my black pen ready on the negative side. Now the negative kind of has a tough job right now because they're gonna present their case, but they're also going to attack the affirmative case. So let's go through why Batman is the better superhero. Okay, first, he's a good example. Now what do I mean by that? Superman, sure, he like tries to save people and stuff like that, but he is not realistic. Batman actually uses his money for good to create cool weapons and things like that. And when you look at the United States, we need more people in tech. So Batman, not only does he go out and save lives, he uses his actual human brain, and that is awesome because he creates these wonderful things that will encourage our youth to like create wonderful things that save lives. So that makes the better superhero is being an example that kids can look up to. Okay, second, um, he has better gadgets. All right, so again, we're looking at how with these gadgets, he can save a lot of lives, but also he is encouraging, um, encouraging youth to get involved in the tech industry and do all these things, which is really cool. And third, uh, better costume. When you look at Superman, you can see that Superman is encouraging kids to walk around in their underwear and tights. And Batman is more like, it's more um, heroic. It looks better. If Superman was not like bulletproof and stuff, people would be laughing at him because you don't wear your underwear on the outside like that. And when you look at the Batman movies, you can see that they've adjusted and they don't have such a stupid, uh, such a stupid costume. All right, now I'm going to attack the affirmative case. When you're debating, that's actually what you say. And now you'll see why flowing is awesome because the judge can flow along with you. So let's go to Superman's first point, that he saves more lives. Um, but let's do something called cross-apply. Um, I do an XA for cross-apply. Cross-apply. And when you cross apply, you're actually using your case to attack their case. So cross apply my first point on being a good example. 
And because and Superman is an example, he actually will end up taking lives because he's not realistic. And children will think that they're like Superman and they will put on capes and they will jump off of buildings and children will die. That's a horrible superhero when he can't be a, a true example to the youth of America um, and all these kids will end up dying because of it. So that's terrible, okay? So I cross applied my first point on being an example. Uh, secondly, better powers. But really, what you can see here is cross-apply my second point that gadgets are much better than like just having the powers. Because again, it's not realistic to just have these powers. And so because of that, Batman is encouraging the tech industry in the United States to explode and for kids to go out and invent new things that'll save the world. And that's way cooler than Superman just having these powers. And third, and you can see I'm putting little arrows by what is being attacked, okay? And third, that Superman can fly. Well, so can Batman. But he does it with his own plane that he invented or like worked with people to invent. So again, the better superhero is the one that is the better example to the youth because then when all the youth unite in the United States and they build gadgets and they want to help people, then at that point, you actually have way more people out there saving lives than just one dude who everyone gets lazy and says, Superman will just take care of it. So Batman's the better superhero. Okay, so you can see every time that I attacked a, case, uh, attacked a point, I would put a little arrow by it. And that's what I do in prep time. So during prep time for public forum, Lincoln Douglas policy, you are writing little notes to yourself. And again, don't write it all out, but it does remind you how to flow and how to do that. So why is it important to flow this way? If we look at this second uh, column right here, let's say that I didn't attack this point and it was just empty. As a debater, you can see oh, they didn't attack it. And because of that, there's a big hole. Now that point can just flow through for me. I can win on that point alone, which I will point out to the judge. And we're going to pretend that, you know, negative did not attack that second point. All right. And that way you can see why it's important to flow right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our, our blue pen for the affirmative. All right. So this is after cross-examination. During cross-examination, we don't really... Uh, take a lot of notes or anything like that. We don't really flow. If there are some things they admit to, then sure, like write those things down. But you'll probably remember it as you're debating as well. But pretty much you'll see debate judges, they just put down their pens and just kind of listen during cross-examination. And whatever happens in cross-examination, you do need to bring it up in the debate or as a lot of uh, debate judges will tell you, it didn't happen unless you put it in a speech, okay? So make sure anything that happens in cross sex, even if they admit that yours is a better case, that you need to make sure and tell the judge that. All right, so uh, the affirmative will stand up and say, I'm going to attack the negative case, and then I'm going to answer attacks to my own case and then do voters or voting issues. Now, a real spar round, this is only one minute long, okay? And because it's only one minute long, like, that's too much to do for that amount of time. So if you're doing spar, you kind of pick and choose your battles. Uh, you do want to attack their case and just, like, go on to voters. Um, but with this, what I would say when you're practicing is give yourself some more time so that you can practice attacking and answering attacks and having those voting issues at the end. All right. So let's go to the negative's first contention. They said that Batman is a better example to the children than Superman. But here's the thing. Batman, as we all know, is this playboy who uses women and just kind of throws them away. That is not a good superhero. He was He's a terrible example. Um, he's really... Uh, 
just kind of haunted and makes some bad choices. But mostly, you know, Superman tries really hard not only to be a good superhero, but he also tries to be a good man, as Clark Kent is always trying to do nice things, good things. So, like, cross-apply my first point, too. So, like, Superman, better example. But also, cross-apply my first point, it's all about saving lives. Because when it comes down to it, if that's your mom or that's your dad or that's your family on that plane, Batman can't stop that plane from crashing. But Superman can, and that's why you can see that Superman's the better superhero. Let's go to contention two. Uh, my opponent said that gadgets are much better than Superman having these unrealistic powers. But the point is, is we're talking about superheroes. Most superheroes do have powers. And so when we discuss superheroes, we can see that kids know that Superman isn't real. But at the same time, we can see he's trying to be a good, good man. And he's out there saving lives, like doing everything he can to save lives. So with that, gadgets don't matter because Superman has better powers. Cross supply too. Let's go to the third point, better costume. Now here's the thing, they said that Superman is the only one with like these little underwear, but if you look the original drawings of Batman and the ones that went on for a while in the 60s series, you can see Batman had the same underwear on the outside. So this point falls because really he's saying the same thing um, on both sides, right? So falls because Batman also underwear on the outside. <laughs> And again, we want to go back to the best superhero saved lives anyway. Let's go over to my case now and answer attacks to my case. So to the first contention, he said uh, Batman is a much better example. But here's the thing. Batman is ignoring the point that a best superhero saves the most lives. So again, this stands. Saving lives is the number one thing in this round and why you should vote for Superman. Secondly, you can see they didn't attack my second point at all. And because of this, this flows through immediately. He does have better powers. He has laser eyes, he's bulletproof. Um, he's just amazing and can do so many things to again save those lives. And to the third point where I said he can fly, they say Batman can fly too, but with a plane. Well, if he's in a plane, he certainly like can't stop a plane, right? <laughs> so makes sense that like flying, you can stop missiles and nuclear weapons and a plane from crashing to the ground. And that is way better superhero. So with that, let's go to my voting issues first. Lives, lives, lives. Yeah, you've heard it over and over again. But the best superhero saves the most lives, period. That's why we have superheroes, is to save lives. So Superman wins, obviously, because of that on magnitude, uh, uh, just because you know he's going to save the most lives. Secondly, he has better powers to save lives. And with that, he can even fly and stop nuclear war. So judge, when it comes down to this, and you're really looking at who should win today, um, what you should look at is who, who saves the most lives, uh, because that's what a superhero does. And if your mother or your family was in a plane that was crashing, Batman can't do that. You want to choose Superman. And if you choose Superman to stop that plane from crashing, then Superman wins the round today. And that's why you should vote affirmative today. Okay, so that's kind of uh, the voting issues. We'll get more into impact calculus later, which is just adding up the impacts. All right, let's go on to the negative side. Okay, negative. They're going to get up and say a little thing before they start. This is called an off time roadmap. It's what I was doing with the Superman one too. Uh, some states don't allow off time roadmaps, so you'll have to ask the judge if that's okay. But I allow it so I know where they're going. Um, so with this I say, uh, I'll just be answering attacks to my case and going over the reason why reasons why Batman should win. Going over voting issues. Okay, so first of all, uh, 
my opponent said that Superman's a better example because he saves lives. But the thing is, they totally miss the point of this point. Children who follow Superman and try and be like Superman are going to jump to their deaths. Children die. Um, with this kind of an, an example. With Batman, we increase the tech industry, which is going to help the United States overall, as well as like save a lot of lives. All right, let's go to the second one. He can make gadgets, helps with the tech industry. All they did was cross apply their second point of better powers. But again, a best superhero um, should be the one that is the best example and the most realistic so that people can be like them. And Batman gives that example best. And third, when it comes to the costumes, we can see Batman learned his lesson not to wear his underwear on the outside, but to actually hide it and just have a really cool costume that everyone would want to wear. That makes him take it more seriously, and we're not encouraging children to wear their underwear on the outside. Let's go to voters or voting issues. The number one thing is example. Even though my opponent kept on saying that it's about lives saved, all of those are fictional lives, right? We want to see it actual lives saved, and we do that because Batman becomes this real example of someone who creates gadgets and invents things, and we encourage the tech industry to thrive and children to be more like Batman in creating something awesome to help the world. So best example is the best superhero. The second reason that you're going to vote for Batman is, again, to save children's lives, uh, to save children's lives so that they don't jump off buildings trying to be like uh, Superman. And third, um, the biggest reason you're going to do it is because even if you want to save the most lives, the most real lives are saved in the Batman world because he's more realistic. And that is why Batman should win today. Okay. When you're debating, you're obviously not going to be writing things down. You're just going to be talking. I'm just trying to do the flow at the same time. And that is why... Uh, when you are debating, like, you go up with your flow so that you're really organized, but always have someone flow on the board for the first little while. And your homework, if you want to get good at this, is to do a bunch of spar rounds, flow, 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 spar rounds, and then when you're ready, Google some public forum rounds uh, and actually flow those. Those end up with, like, eight speeches, and I'm going to talk about public forum more later. So hopefully this helped you out. Good luck with all that you do. You're going to be awesome. All right. Thanks.